Yesterday's Supreme Court decision to shoot down Biden's vaccine mandate on employers of more than 100 employees. It's uh, pretty big news, something a lot of businesses across the country have been waiting for, let alone businesses across the state of Illinois have been waiting for, because they faced potentially $14,000 in fines, let alone the just wild... uh, having to to comply with uh, testing somebody every week uh, for COVID-19 and all the questions surrounding, uh, you know, would that lead to a flood of workers leaving the workforce questions about, uh, you know, people's rights to uh, not have to take a test every week to work a variety of other questions raised, but the U S Supreme court shooting that decision back down to the sixth appellate circuit. Uh, So we'll see what happens there. But ultimately that means that the vaccine mandate or testing mandate for private employers of more than 100 employees, not in effect. Now also are out of that. You've got the Illinois department of labor in their rule that they filed last week uh, for uh, public sector employment of more than 100 employees Uh, villages, municipalities, cities across the states were required to put together a plan. Well, the Department of Labor has now um, put a stay on that plan. They've withdrawn it. Could they possibly file a new plan uh, to require vaccines for those uh, individual workers? We shall see if that happens. But to join us to react to this and more, We've got Republican gubernatorial candidate Gary Rabine here on the WMAY Morning News Feed. I'm Greg Bishop. Gary, thanks for taking time with us this morning. And you actually have an interesting connection to this case as uh, part of a plaintiff's group. Uh, Tell us about that. Hey, Greg, how are you? Gary Rabine, it's great to be on your show today. Um, Yeah, Greg, Greg, uh, I was a founder, one of the founders in this group called Job Creators Network about 11, 12 years ago. Bernie Marcus was the original founder and he I was one of the, the few that joined him early, you know, initially. We've got a few hundred thousand business across America now that are part of Job Creators Network. And the, and the role of Job Creators Network is just to go after bad federal regulations that kill jobs. And, and this is the granddaddy of them all. When, I, when, when I, we heard this was going to happen, I had, a, I had a, ca- a call with the CEO of Job Creators Network, Alfredo, and we talked for an hour and a half, two hours until we figured out what law firm we could use and how we could go after this when, it, when, it, when we knew it was going to be rolled out. It was then rolled out. We filed the lawsuit. We were the first uh, small, small big business organization to file a lawsuit. And then uh, we went through, went through all the channels, the, the, the circuit courts and everything. And eventually it got upheld by the Sixth Circuit, where we then, uh, within 43 minutes, our, our awesome law firm that we hired for this um, actually uh, uh, appealed, filed an appeal. We, we, uh, we on the seventh last week, a week ago today, this was heard, and then uh, yesterday we got the uh, the great news that we won a six three decision at the Supreme Court level, and uh, you know this is this is a huge win for 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 business. This represents over eighty million, some say a hundred million uh, working working uh, people in the, in the country. Um, I say it's, I know it's at least eighty million that we that we looked at originally. Um, so it's a lot. Of, a lot of jobs that are affected here, and, and, and this is a big, big win for small business and businesses across America as well. You know, working, working families, more importantly. Gary, um, we talked with uh, uh, the the founder of Patriot Academy earlier this hour. He said we're not out of the woods yet uh, because you've still got uh, the the Sixth Circuit that's taking this up. Uh, but uh, are we are we clear? Uh, are our employees still going to be able to? Uh, to live without the, the potential uh, reality of uh, being required to, to provide a negative test or being required to show their vaccine proof? Are we out of the woods here? You know, I don't know if they were, they were ever out of the woods as long as we have tyrants in charge, right? I mean, this, this is, uh, it is as, as that gentleman said, it goes back to the Sixth Circuit but for, for review. But, uh, you know, they, these, these, these uh, justices really shot it down hard and, uh, you know, they, 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 they distinctly said that this is not something that OSHA can, can uh, push and, and, and uh, be behind. So I, we, we're confident it's going to uh, it's going it's to get dropped, but there's a chance it doesn't. Uh, the, the thing we had to worry about is, you know, if we're, if we're a free state like Indiana, uh, say Tennessee, Florida, Texas, if we're a free state where we have, you know, freedom-loving governors, you know, governing their states, this is, a, this is great news for those, those business environments because, these guys were, were against it anyway, so they're definitely not going to go any further as a state. When you're in a state like Illinois, though, we had our governor 
um, you know, meet with the president at O'Hare Airport. There's some pictures on that you might have seen um, the, the, around the same time as the hearing, talking basically then talking about, as you just mentioned, uh, you know, basically uphold, upholding this in the, at the state level through our, through our labor department and uh, basically the same law. And so that, that's something that uh, we have to be concerned with because, uh, it, again, our state, we will have more inflation, more job loss, more unemployment than our, than our surrounding states. It'll, it'll be a domino effect like we've never seen before when it comes to job loss and working class people job loss. And we, then we're going to have inflation because we don't have enough people to serve our customers and, and the, the supply chain will be hit hard. So this, we can't have this. We all have to fight hard to make sure this doesn't happen in our state. Um, you know, we're, we're non-competitive with the states around us already. We're, we're about 6% unemployment and our surrounding states are all around 3%. We've got 150,000 jobs or more that are not filled currently uh, in Illinois than our comp competitive states around us. So we, we've got to make sure this doesn't happen. We've got to make sure that our governor, J.B. Pritzker, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm calling him uh, Biden's not so mini me because he's, he's loving everything Biden's doing. And even, even with Biden's 33% uh, approval rating, the worst I've ever seen, this governor is, uh, is, is just following in lockstep. We're talking with Gary Rabine. He's a Republican candidate vying for governor. Of course, the June 28th primary coming up uh, and uh, petitions are circulating now. I take it you're uh, you're out there on the streets uh, circulating those nominating petitions. Uh, but when it comes to that uh, Illinois Department of Labor uh, potential of filing another rule uh, to require uh, vaccine mandates, uh, you you would uh, you would not have uh, such a rule uh, put in place if you were governor. Greg, never. Absolutely never. This is a free country. We need to keep it free. Um, we, we, you know, I'm, I'm a pro-vaccination person, but I got to tell you, this is, this is not freedom when, we're, when we have government getting in, in the way of business relationships, making business owners, small business owners and business owners, the vac vaccine police, okay? It's, a, it's an ugly picture, and we, and we, can't, we can't ever want to you know, ever see that picture. Gary, um, as I said, we've got uh, the, the primary coming up. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, talk about um, uh, the, the lieutenant governor candidates uh, that uh, people are selecting. Uh, tell us about the one you've chosen. So Aaron Del Mar is the best of the best. I'll tell you what, I mean, we, we interviewed a lot of great people. Uh, it took me took us a long time in interviews to interview a lot of great people in the, in the state of Illinois. And uh, we, we, uh, Aaron Del Mar was the person we picked. He had... Uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, experience in politics, all, all in a, in a uh, servant way. Uh, he's not the guy that ever made a lot of money in politics. He, he's been an entrepreneur building a biz, couple of businesses. Got a, he's a, he's a, a strong entrepreneur. But at the same time, he got involved in politics early on in his, in his 20s, and uh, he's uh, done some really neat things. He's, uh, he's been the Republican chair at Cook County, Illinois. He's the only, he's the only person from Cook County, Illinois, and understands the craziness of Cook County um, on, in, in the race, and uh, I'm glad to have him. And uh, Gary, uh, you know, I haven't uh, vetted reports myself, um, but uh, obviously there's going to be a lot of opposition research done, uh, dumped out all over the place, <laughs> right? I mean, you see it in the political mm -hmm, yep. papers. Uh, it's all over the place. Um, can you ensure voters uh, proper vetting has been done? Yes. You know what? Uh, it, it, and, uh, Aaron's not a perfect person, you know, in, in, in his 43-year uh, past. As nobody is. There's only one person that perfectly walked this earth, and he's not here anymore. He, uh, you know, Aaron and I, any of us, right? Uh, I was a wrestler, uh, you know, in, in a, and, and thought I was kind of a tough guy as a young guy. Aaron was kind of the same type of person. He was, a, he was an MMA fighter. Um, you know, you're going to see pictures of him in the ring, uh, hitting people, this or that, whatever they're going to, whatever he come out with. Anyway, he's, he's a tough, he's a tough, tough guy, but smart as can be, compassionate as can be, and uh, great family man. And um, I'm proud to have him as my as my lieutenant governor. He's, he's the strongest in the race. I'll, you know, wait, wait till you hear him speak, and wait till you see him. You're gonna like him. Well, we've got until June 28th uh, to hear a lot more about it. So Gary Raybine, Republican candidate for governor, uh, greatly appreciate you taking the time with us, and uh, we'll definitely connect again soon. All right, be safe out there. Hey, thank you, Greg. Raybine for governor.com. R-A-B-I-N-E for governor.com. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. 747 now and coming back, we will.